All right, uh, today's show sponsored by, this segment I should say, sponsored by Davidson's Liquor. It's the Davidson's Liquor Happy Hour every Friday here on the show. Not today, but Fridays. And with Davidson's Liquor's new user-friendly website, customers will experience improved product searching, easy checkout, and you can choose convenient in-store pickup, or you can have the item shipped directly to you. Yes, booze to your house. Log on to davidsonsdenver.com and experience the Davidson's difference I know this so who are you blaming who's to blame for for what went on yesterday Broncos out again out in the first round again out in the first round at a, from a home game again it, it's just it's happening too much and I, I think we're all in agreement something needs to change I don't know if we're in agreement of what exactly needs to change but who do you blame yesterday or is there just a lot of blame to go Myself, around? Myself, I'll take the blame. Okay. Uh, and, and I say that because Fox came up to me after, John Fox came up to me after uh, he had spoken to the press in the locker room and I was standing there because I tend to just stand around in the locker room because I guess I want to be around naked men or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of airplane, didn't it? And I was just standing there and he said, I'm sorry, Woody. And I said, you don't have to apologize to me. But there are a lot of other people you probably have to apologize to, and that would be uh, the players, the fans. John Elway would yeah, be number no one kidding. on my list. Yeah. Uh, to everybody in the Rocky Mountain region, there were uh, raindrops after the game, but as I wrote, there were teardrops. And uh, who do I blame specifically? Peyton Manning. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. And he said he played poorly, and I would agree with him. Uh, second half of his season, and reports, we should get right into it, uh, that Adam Schefter's reporting today, he has a torn quad that he's been playing with. The Broncos replied that it is a strained quad. Well, either way, we have to point out, in, in, in light of everything that's going on, it's not the most important. The, the injuries may be the most important thing, but... The fact that they lied about it could get them into a great deal of hot water with the NFL in terms of a fine because that's what the injury report is. And I told you the other day, in 1977, the injury report started the following year because uh, Craig Morton was in the hospital for a week and Red Miller closed practices, which he normally didn't do, and kept saying, oh, Craig had a great day today. Well, Craig was in the hospital. They lied all week. And as a result of that, the next season, they started a weekly injury report, and it is as much for and me and Tom Brady you, has been on that report since then. Every <laughs> week. But it was as much for us as it was for Las Vegas. That was yeah. important information well, for Las Vegas. We, we should point out, a, a strained muscle, you, and I'm not a doctor, but the way I understand it is a strained muscle, whether it's a calf muscle, a quad muscle, it's not a complete tear, but it's a, a strained hamstring. It's a partial tear. It could be tiny. It could be a little bit larger. So but it, it was not a complete tear because with a complete tear, Peyton wouldn't even be able to walk. Yeah, and with, he a, with, he a slight, with a strain, with a slight tear, he can still play. I'm the question a, is how effective can he be? I'm going to do a visual here. After the okay. San Diego game in San Diego in which he – injured it just right. before halftime when he went out to throw a pass. It was not on the play where he blocked. I went into the locker room afterward, and now I'm being perfectly frank. If you can kind of, yeah, that's a better shot. I could see in this area, and I haven't been able to explain this before, that, but right here is where it is because I saw on his body a big red mark, and I don't know whether it was, it was the icing, actual possibly. injury or... I think it was either ice or heat because it was right here. And so you could tell when you're looking at that, that's where it is. Yeah. The quad. It's the biggest muscle it, in the body, actually. The quad really is over here in the front area. Yeah. It's where the quad is, but that could be part of the quad, the end of the quad. So that's where exactly, because they never would say what leg it was in. Yeah. It's in his right leg. And it's the push-off leg when he throws. So, and that's the foundation we talked about the other day. Foundation for the pass is when you plant going this way. And I'm not obviously a quarterback, but I play one on TV right now. But that's what was going on.